this is interesting if you want to understand the working principles of modern anesthesia vaporizers and that too from three very reputed authors you just can't miss this welcome to the very first edition of journal watch in anesthesia tools i have made an effort to add animations to learn the concepts in the article step by step this edition is inspired by an article published in indian journal of anesthesia march 2020 advances in vaporization a narrative review just see the author's panel this article will make its impact in the academic arena this review article gives an overview of three modern vaporizers namely the aladdin cassette vaporizer injection vaporizers and anaconda first part is the aladdin cassette vaporizer the description is very simple and logical backed up by diagrams let's start with the schematic illustration explaining the components and basic functional aspect of aladdin 2 cassette vaporizer let's try to understand it step by step the simplest way to do this is by deleting the add on components temporarily wow now it looks like the basic flow over vaporizer diagram right you can identify the fresh gas inlet bypass chamber the common gas outlet vaporizer chamber inlet vaporizing chamber with liquid agent with its vapor molecules vaporizer chamber outlet so simple see the fresh gas flow flowing through the bypass chamber once dial is opened a part of the fresh gas flow flows into the vaporizing chamber inlet the part of the fresh gas flow reaches the vaporizing chamber and carry vapor molecules to the outlet through the vaporizing chamber outlet it joins the common gas outlet if this is so simple so is the working of aladdin vaporizer as well this is our starting diagram of aladdin vaporizer we will go step by step you can use the play or pause buttons to suit your understanding remember this is a simplified description as the vaporizer is opened a designated volume of fresh gas flow flows into the cassette inlet as the vaporizing chamber is inside the aladdin cassette now the carrier gas has to pick up the saturated vapor molecules it proceeds through the outlet flow route and joins the common gas outlet job done the vapor reaches the common gas outlet just like our basic vaporizer design any doubt yes Now you are thinking what special about Aladdin vaporizer how it gives precision output safety features it's known for no worries the answer follows let us see the structural and functional components of Aladdin vaporizer two parts one the central processing unit cpu two agent specific vaporizer chamber or cassette the cassette is a leak proof metal box which has a smaller front portion which is color coded to the specific agent and a larger rear portion that is black in color the front portion has an agent specific filling system a glass window to display the level of the anesthetic liquid and a handle with a lever for locking the cassette in the slot provided on the anesthesia machine this portion also houses the contact for the electronic temperature sensor 
and the liquid anesthetic agent level. There are four copper colored circles that can be seen on the top surface of the front of the cassette. Information from the liquid level sensor is transmitted by this electronic bus to the anesthesia workstation. The cassette features with accurate overfill protection and the level sensing are electronic and more accurate than only visual sensing. Now cassette IDs. There are signature magnets that allow the anesthesia machine to identify the agent cassette that is inserted into the machine slot. Temperature in the vaporizing chamber or sump is sensed and the input given to CPU to regulate vapor output. There is no risk of agent spilling if the cassette is tilted as the inlet valve will close preventing any spillage. There is a liquid spill prevention valve that prevents the anesthetic liquid in the vaporizing chamber from entering the fresh gas line. Aladdin cassette also has a pressure relief valve that works as a safety valve that opens whenever the pressure inside the Aladdin cassette is greater than 2.5 bar. The back panel has an inflow valve and outflow valve which are spring loaded mechanical ball valves to prevent agent leak during transport. The inflow and outflow flow meters determine the flow by detecting the pressure drop across a fixed flow restrictor that is the pressure drop is proportional to gas flow over fixed resistance. The temperature compensation is achieved by the central processing unit the CPU. The microprocessor receives input from multiple sources every 200 milliseconds including fresh gas flow rate, carrier gas composition, set vapor concentration, liquid level and temperature in the vaporizing chamber or sump and controls vapor output electronically. Take a note of this symbol. It denotes enhanced temperature sensing and is seen on the front of the cassette in Aladdin 2 vaporizers. The article also features further schematic explanation of interplay of the cassette pressure and mixer output pressure. The differences between Aladdin 1 and 2 vaporizers are discussed in the article. The latter part of the article deals with two more important devices. The first one is Macquit injection vaporizer. The last but the latest addition is Anaconda anesthetic conserving device. It is a miniature anesthetic vaporizer and HME humidified moisture exchanger filter combined together. The device is meant to be used mainly for sedation in the intensive care unit and outside operating rooms. Maybe in a later video I shall try to provide animated graphics to these devices as well. In summary, I would say this has been a well researched and organized review article by established authors in the speciality. It is a must read for all of us, especially if you are an academic anesthesia practitioner. The link to the article is given below in the description for easy access. Do send in your feedback and suggestions on Journal Watch in Anesthesia Tools. Thanks again, it's me Sanish signing off.